Hey guys, I'm back with another video to be a, actually a follow-up follow -up video to my first one about reusing the torps for the Krups sub beer machine. So what I told you before in my first video, like now we're gonna show you a little bit more about the cleaning and how to inflate the bag inside. So this one you got out, you got to see, the, you, you, you have seen this in the, my first video. So this will be in, when your torp is empty, you just push with a screwdriver, with a flathead screwdriver and it, that's important, it's really as flat as possible on the front so you can get, get uh, underneath it and just push it up, up, up upwards and rotate and don't worry if, uh, if this part, the, the edge will be a little bit wrinkled, don't worry about it as long as, as it's not, as it's not perfect perforated there's no problem because i will tell you how to solve that problem later on but first of all let's talk about cleaning it so when your torp is empty and you get the line out then you have to just wait and get all uh, as much out as possible you, you you can push it a little you can see this it's really cleaned with my star sand, I will tell you later how to do that. So first of all, you need some hot water. So you will get a like this, not too, not too fast, because it will. Otherwise, it it's it really can't follow the stream. So like this, you just wait, and you will hear it pop some some sometimes, like it's settling. The back will be inflating, of course, and you just let it overflow, and you will hear it. You hear it? That's the bag inside that is uh, inflating actually. So now it's full. Wait for a while. You might hear some more pops coming on. The bag has already expanded a little bit. That's good. Now just wiggle it a little bit and let all come out. It will not go that fast, but if you re rotate it, it will go faster, of course. Or you put some uh, thing in inside it, like a tube or something, then you know it's go it's going to go faster. But you have time, of course. It's not that <laughs> it just only takes one minute or something like that. So let's say all is out now. Then you really have to rinse it a second time, okay? Because this this will be not clean actually for foods. Or beer or something that gets gets in contact with the with the material itself. So you have to use this now. I will show you. It's called Star Sand, and it's almost every homebrew shop online where you can buy all these things to brew beers. You can get these cleaning materials that are really safe and. You don't have to worry if there is a little bit foam left in, in this torp. Don't worry, uh, it won't affect your beer after all. So just, yeah, I'm just push this a little bit, it will come here. Like you only have, a, like a, a milliliter or something will be more than enough. So like this, just a few drops, because this will be like, I think, Maybe two milliliters or something like that is for like 10 liters of, 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 you can mix in 10 liters of water with only a few milliliters of this. So this uh, ra ra rather large bottle can I have for this almost a liter. You can do for a long, long time with this one. So star sand, remember. Get yourself star sand. It's the best. Uh, it wasn't available for a while, but I've seen it again. So that's really good. So again, fill it. Also again with hot water. It's too hard. Yeah, just, yeah, a little bit less. The stream of the water going on. So like this, yeah. So it's filling again. And you will see now coming foam coming out because star sand is really foamy. Yeah, there it is. You see the foam? Don't worry about it. That's no problem. Just rinse it again. And now maybe is a good time 
to actually be blowing up the battle, uh, the back inside, oh, what I'm talking about, <laughs> to blowing up the back inside because you can do it with a pump to use uh, for balloons, to inflate balloons, but you can only also use your mouth. And then it's good to know, like, see, it's almost empty. And when there is something left, I just tell you, just blow it and you will hear it popping again the bag inside because it will inflate, of course. As hard as you can. So now it's fully inflated, but of course the bacterials, the, 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 the bacterial parts from the mouth, from the saliva will be also on here. So don't worry, just make sure you get, a, you rinse it a little bit and then you just buy this also online. These things to actually clean bottles, you can also use for this. So you just push it in there and maybe you can get a smaller one because this isn't fitting really, but you have really different sizes. But I always do it with a star stand or you just get some in something like this, a bigger one like, like you can see here. And you just put the top in there and let the, let the rest of the star sign come out and it will be cleaned to the, the top also, although you have blown in it with your mouth make sure it's really clean again so then you put your homebrew in there with and ah here I have it so this will go on your tap of your because I have buckets you will see this goes on the tap and it's with this mechanism that pushes in so you push it down and when it's pushed in, the, the beer will be flowing. You have to open your tap first. And when you push down, push down, the beer will be flowing. If you stop and let it go, the beer will be stopped. And that's also good because it's a tube and it will leave a, a little room for the beer, the, for the head, for the, for the top of the beer to be a little less because this volume won't be like in, in, in the beer. It's like a space, you know. So, just push it in really in the center because you have these these parts of the f feet of the of the torp and you have to really get it in the center when you and just push it down yeah you have to feel the set yeah push it down the center is important and then just wait you can yeah you can do it in a corner but well don't really care what I, what I was saying now so you just wait and you you can see till it's almost full you just pull it out it's like filling a bottle with these with these things. It's, it's it's a bottle filler. You can find it also on uh, homebrew shops like a bottle filler. So then when that is happened, all is good, all is clear. Uh, it's cleaned already. You have to do this also immediately after you have an empty torp. You just clean it immediately. Don't wait for that. Just push with a screwdriver out immediately. Uh, rinse it really well. Blow it up. Blow it up some and. Uh, then you get your beer in, your beer is in, and you use sugar. Like I told you, don't use too much sugar because the pressure of these torps won't be like in a bottle. So I, w I was telling you like five, five grams a liter, but, but, but only four grams a liter, like eight grams for a torp of sugar. And you, it's preferable to use brewing sugar. Also, you can order, of course, on the homebrew shops. And uh, then when, the, when it's in, the eight grams, you just push this one in. And then let's just let it carbonate like when you do with all the other beers of your home brew. You wait two weeks, maybe better for this large but torps to be waiting it like three weeks in, at room temperature and then chill it down in your fridge or in the machine itself for a long time till the lights actually turns green. And then best to wait a little bit more, especially when you're brewing Pilsners or you're brewing like IPAs. Like I have some IIP left. This is also a kit, you know. This, these are really easy things to brew. So it's already been done. The meshing and all stuff has been done. You just add warm water to this. You will sit it in warm water because it's, it's a thick, it's, it's sir syrupy. And then it, it will soften up. You just uh, do some hot water in there, in your bucket. 
you will throw this one in uh, also some sugar you have to throw it in in extra like a one kilo of sugar most of the time but it will make 23 liters of beer so that's five gallons of beer and this pouch was only really cheap like 13 euros and i'm talking about euros so let's say it's 10 pounds but with 10 pounds you can make it says 23 liter and you make 23 liter but when you are sampling and stuff like that it will be like two liters or three liters less when you get it to another uh, to another um, you know uh, bucket later when you're transferring the beer to make it clearer again that i mean so these kits are really nice and widely available on the homebrew shops now of course with the covid going on everybody is rather much much brewing with those with these kits and uh, it there will be less uh, not so much cho to choose from but still you get to try it it's really easy when you're starting to brew just buy these kits you buy yourself a starting packet for brewing and you will be gone in no while and it's really cheap and then you can brew like like i told you if this is 10 pounds and you get 20 liters that's only half a pound okay with the other ingredients like the sugar and maybe some hops you want to throw in extra it still will be just over a pound for a liter so this will be like two pounds for a two liter like something like that uh, so the line is in your, your uh, sugar is in and then you just have to wait and enjoy it because it will chill down to two degrees don't forget when you put it in you push like i told you in the first video you have to put here a little glue i do it all the way around the glue so to make sure it isn't popping out because when you use really a more too much sugar it really will come out even when when you are pushing these lips a little bit out you can see it's it's uh, it sticks behind when you push it in so just push them out a little bit it will give give even more strength not to come out and then just just do super glue or like you know this all these not uh pretty eh? pretty is shit eh? like for the children <laughs> those tubes don't do it uh, <laughs> but you all know that uh, just use very strong glue uh, just around i use super glue actually and uh, then you can enjoy your beer after like three weeks and it's really cold and it's really fresh so for an ipa or a person really good if you are brewing stouts or uh, russian imperial stouts or barley wines or some porters like that you don't need to chill it down that low of course but uh, i will stop my video now you i hope you learned some more and i will do videos later about later about brewing so please subscribe to my channel you can see i am doing the brews and i will do it with these with these kits so for the people who start really brewing they will get more um more information about that also so Cheers guys and till the next time, bye.